Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. I'm here with Apple Guardian and and the adorable Apple? Prince Apple? Prince Apple, where have you gone? Oh, there he is. And the adorable Prince Apple, our little squirrel, who Apple Guardian, our magic Yorvikors, who is currently showing off all of his glorious greenery, watches over. But we're back, guys. So last time we wrapped up a wonderful family potluck, and we managed to find the mystery of just where Butterfly, the Baroness's wonderful championship horse, had disappeared to. The answer is that he was stolen by a gentleman who now has the dubious honor of being added into my journal and actually there he is this guy right over here mr anwar i first crossed paths with the slimy mr anwar when he and his minion carl tried to kidnap the baroness's prize horse butterfly and he almost got away with it too the encounter taught me an important lesson about Yorvik. not everyone on this island cares about horses the way my friends and i do I won't let people like Mr. Anwar hurt Yorvik's horses. And we sure didn't. We really gave it a go to try to chase him down. He makes his home in Yorvik City. His birthplace is an Evermist. He likes French dip sandwiches. His special skill is mad science sneering, which is hilarious. He's 49 and a horse thief with a henchman named Carl. He's also a Scorpio. Interesting. But alright, we finished up that. We were able to thankfully have a wonderful family potluck and reunite all of the farming brothers, Barley, Marley, and Carly. And now we are getting ready to visit with a little lost wanderer here inside of Mistfall named Gretchen. I am not exactly sure who Gretchen is, but Gretchen is the next brightly lit up spot on my map. So let's go see what Gretchen would like to do. And maybe learn a little bit more about this. And that's also we have Forest Garden, by the way. Ugh. We had Melody Warrior with us when we were doing the potluck. Because that really involved some of the, the old school original members of Yorvik that we very first met. But when it comes to finding lost wanderers in the forest, that is completely our Forest Guardian, Apple Guardian's job. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, are they looking at the Baroness's old abandoned house? Oh, it's these guys! Helga! Oh dear, what have we done? We were only going to grill some hot dogs, but we ended up starting a fire. We didn't know it, was, uh, it wasn't safe to grill here. You have a horse. Could you ride down to get some water from Silversong River? Please hurry before the whole forest catches fire. <gasps> a forest fire? What the heck? This is not good. This is absolutely not go good. And we've got a bucket. Oh my gosh, Apple, you might want to get back safely into the itty bitty little saddle bag. Cause I'm ca in fact, get back in there, Apple. I'm going to be too distracted worrying about stepping on you or, or something dubious happening. But they started a fire. I really feel like sometimes the tourists to the island can be somewhat dangerous. I mean, we had an entire, entire lake on all of Valdell Lake ended up being emptied out. Okay, let's see. Can I get some water from here? Maybe. I really hope so. Please, Silver Song River. Water. Please. Okay, thank goodness. All right, let's fill up the bucket. We're on it. We've got a bunch of buckets of water. All right, up we go, Apple Guardian. This is completely the kind of thing that he wants to do, is to protect the forest. So I chose a good horse by following my heart and seeing who would want to accompany us on these quests. Come on, Apple Guardian! A forest fire! Jeez Louise! Horse napping one day, forest fires the next. Where did they start all of this hubba blue? Oh my gosh! They really did start a forest fire! What the heck? What the heck? This is completely unacceptable! This is not, like, he's going to literally not even give me a chance to water this. Knowing him, he's just going to, like, stomp on it with those gigantic mammoth hooves that the Orvik wild horses have. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they really did start a forest fire! Why aren't you chickens running around and, like, using your hats to put this out? That's what I would do. I would probably yank the shirt off my own back and, like, start splashing it all over the- Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, this is really not cool. I guess, you know, but the thing is, you need tourists to kind of like be the lifeblood of the island's economy sometimes, but James really needs to start educating them a little bit better, and I guess the villages are gonna have to learn how to cope with more signs. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Helga, thank goodness you and your fast horse picked up, showed up in the nick of time. You saved the whole forest. Oh, it could have been so bad. Gretchen, I told my mother and father it wasn't a good idea to grill here. They never listened to me, but now they've learned a valuable lesson. If they try this again, I will stop them. Thank you, Gretchen. Fire safety with Gretchen. I hope they'll listen to me next time. I always tell them how they should do things in the woods, but they never listen. Maybe they'll listen to me now. Gunther, what do you have to say for yourself? Yes, so what have we done? Gretchen said it wasn't a good idea, but it was so beautiful here, with a nice view and a lovely breeze from the forest. I was so hungry. Gunther? No, no, I promise never to start a fire on open ground again. I'm really sorry. My wife and I will find out if we can build some stoves for grilling hot dogs in the woods. Then you can have a barbecue anywhere in the woods. Hmm. Can you help me build a stove? We need some stones for the foundation. <laughs> we need some stones for the foundation, wood for nice benches, and a grill to put the sausages on. Uh, you know this neighborhood better than us, so maybe you could find all of that stuff. We heard there's a very good blacksmith. Maybe that's the first step to get him to make a grill. Hmm. Well, it sounds like we are off to a certain blacksmith who no doubt will decide if he must make a grill. It will be a grill that could light fires for centuries. It will be a grill that will taste as though you are eating a hot dog roasted in the molten heart of a volcano. <laughs> I have a feeling that is probably what we are going to need to work on now. And I could see how Apple Guardian, as a forest guardian, would not exactly be 100% happy with this plan. It still puts fire into the forest where he doesn't feel it belongs. But if you are going to have tourists and you're going to encourage them to do campy things, it's probably a good idea to make the camping very safe to do. Having designated areas, being able to make sure that people use proper safety procedures, maybe just camp next to the river, you know, where they could... They could just sit there and have water next to them. Oh, all right. So he's getting a little shy. Oh, Apple Guardian, you are gorgeous. Green or your beautiful, beautiful brown. You are gorgeous either way. All right. So let's pop over to Moreland Stables. And we will go and no doubt be told how we shall create a grill that has all of the powers of the sun. A grill that, that no doubt could warm even the coldest of hearts. Oh, it's so beautiful here, too. Yeah, I know you like any forest apple guardian. All right, so let's see. Conrad, I have a new mission for you. Hello, Sokka. Nice to see you here. You need a grill? Of course I'll help you. You have helped me collect wood so many times, it's the least I could do. But it wouldn't be ready until tomorrow. Come back then. Ah. Conrad! Ah, oh, pardon me, friend. Ah, oh, dearie me. Well, it looks like we're off to take a quick nap, guys. We are off to take a quick nap indeed. But that's okay. Uh, I had a feeling that's usually how it goes with Conrad. Oh gosh, look, everybody's hanging around today. Jenna, quick nap if you don't mind. All right. Ah. No doubt, once again, it will be a grill to rival all other grills. A grill to rival the strength of the sunrise and the peace of the sunset. And hopefully just a grill, like, can it be safety fireproof? You can do that in Sims. You can kind of make it like fireproof so that it won't blow up on you. Could we possibly set that up for all of our um, tourists that happen to show up? Because that would be quite nice. Oh, look how beautiful it is. All right. Conrad, shall we? Look, a first-rate iron grill for barbecues. I wish you may. Uh, I wish you many pleasant moments by the fire. Wait, a forest fire? My my, those tourists! I have to say, I hope they've learned an important lesson. I do too, Conrad. I do too. But all right, so we have the custom-made grill. So let's head back to the hollow woods and drop it off with the new tourist. Well, I say new tourist, but actually these guys have been around so long, they might as well just buy a house. Gunther? I happen to have something for you, good sir. Oh, what a grill. I can see the stripes on the grilled sausages already. But before we can begin grilling, we need to build a stable foundation. Wood and stones should be easy to find around here. 
I saw an abandoned summer house a short way from here. Maybe we can find some stones there. And all, there are some old logs lying around the forest that we can use. There we go. Now we're starting to make this place a little bit safer for our tourist friends. And who knows, maybe it'll end up creating some sort of very special... Uh, an abandoned summer house again, huh? I wonder if I'm going to find anything over here while we're here. Wouldn't that be amazing if, like, we come here to just maybe build a grill and instead we end up finding... Ah, there we go. Perhaps some more secret history about the Baroness. That would be uh, extremely interesting. All right, there's some rocks over here. And then, whoop, careful there, forest guard or apple guardian. Guardian of the forest. Let's see. Where are we going? I can't see a thing. Oh, these thickets are so thick. <laughs> that, I, didn't, I didn't even mean to make that pun. It just kind of happened. All right, here's a nice log. There we go. Wood and stones. That's a tree. Sorry about that, Apple Guardian. That was quite the bonk into that tree. I'm very sorry about that, Apple Guardian. And look at all these boulders. I wonder if they were placed here perhaps by some of the ice melts or glaciers that may have come off of the mountains up there. That's how you often find huge boulders just in the middle of nowhere. They are left over from when glaciers would push across the land and leave behind their, their little boulders, kind of like pebbles. All right, Gunther. It's a good thing you have such a strong and noble horse. Oh, Apple Guardian, I can practically hear you snorting with pleasure. This will be perfect for building a stove. Excellent stones and logs of the perfect size. Now we can build the stove. The logs can be used as benches, and the stones as a foundation for the stove. And to top it off, the grill. Wonderful! All right, so now where am I building it? Oh, right over here! You know what? This is kind of a charming location. Still not as close to, uh... Still nowhere near as close, actually, to being able to stay... Oh, okay, gotta be dismounted. To the river, just in case of forest fires. <laughs> but hopefully this will do. I'm still kind of nervous, though. Oh, there! Look at that! That's a little better. A little better. I know, I'm still a little dubious, Apple Guardian. But hopefully this will be okay. I would, I would prefer if there was a water source a lot closer by, to be honest, though. What a splendid stove. Perfect for a barbecue. Now the fire is safe. In hindsight, I can see how irresponsible we were when we tried to grill on the ground. This turned out better than I thought. What a difference it is to what a difference it makes to get to sit on comfortable benches instead of the hard ground. We should have listened to Gretchen. She is such a clever girl. I wonder who she gets that from. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I have nothing to give you in return, but I hope you and your friends will come here for your barbecues and maybe even build new stoves. Helga and I have learned our lesson, no doubt about it. Yay! All right, well that's done. That's nice and tidy, and what is happening in Everwind Fields, you say? Ho ho, my friends, it seems that something- What? Is there really something going- Wait, GED, oil-filled goon name. There's a mysterious GED oil-filled goon up to no goony good uh, over in Everwind Fields now. What the heck? We are just bouncing from one place to another. You know what that means, don't you? It means that we absolutely have to go and get Silver Secret because Silver Secret considers himself to be kind of like the sheriff of this town. And uh, he definitely would want to know if some GED goons, especially maybe the big guy, Mr. Kimball himself, is up to something. Silver Secret! All right, let's see. And yes, Thistledown has been very busy with his beloved mate, Twinkle, also known as Twilight Sprinkle Star Sky Night Pelt, and their baby bunnies, which is so exciting. So they have been very busy, but we need to switch horses over to Silver Secret if we have some GED naughtiness of the more, perhaps, bureaucratic kind to take care of. So I'll be back, Apple Guardian. It looks like a little apple's a little tired out too. I mean, that's kind of serious to have to deal with a forest fire. I don't blame those two for being a little tuckered out. All right. You know what? Let's actually go ahead 
And I think I can, yeah, there's the, there it is, his racetrack, just like that. But I do need a good night's sleep. So let's actually pop up to Silverglade Manor. And apparently I need another good night's sleep. Holy days, it's a good thing I saved my star coins. They allow me to take many a very restorative nap without really having to wait too long. In Silver Secret, I know that was a big trip from Mistfall. So let's go ahead. Quick little nap. Thank you very much. And then once we wake up, we will race out to Everwind Fields. And we will have to see just what the goons in GED are up to, huh? <sighs> All right, a nice restorative nap and Silver Secret and I are here on the trail of rumors of something afoot in the oil fields. Hopefully, whatever it is, we can get rid of these oil fields. It is Mr. Kimball. All right, guys, let's go ahead and figure out just what this no good guy is up to. And uh, hopefully it'll be something that Silver Secret can really sink his hooves into. And we can carry on with discovering the stories of Jorvik as they unravel in front of us. So, Mr. Kimbell, here to say that you've gone completely bankrupt and that you're moving to another country? If I were you, I would ride past the riding arena. A little bird whispered in my ear that something may be wrong over there. Maybe you could call it karma. Wait, what? A hint of a threat? Oh, <gasps> that's not cool. Oh, Mr. Kimball, that is not cool. How dare you threaten something at the riding arena? What is going on at the riding arena? Ride past the riding arena. Ah, I'm so nervous now. Ah, we've been boxed in. Curses, that's covered in thorns. Careful there, Silver Secret. He knows exactly how to unseat our, our feelings of confidence. No wonder we just put in these horse trailers. All right, to the bulldozer trailer. <laughs> Quickly. Thank goodness we have the horse trailer that takes us straight to the Baroness's racetrack too. All right, let's go ahead. I love this bulldozer tra trailer. It's just hilarious. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but what's not hilarious is a threat from Mr. Kimball. So let's go ahead and see what's going on down there. Maybe. Guys, I think our bulldozer's broken. <laughs> All right, again with gusto. That's better. Oh my gosh, to the riding arena. All right, let's see what's waiting for us. It better not be anything too nefarious. I'm going to pin it all in Mr. Kimball's head. At the same time, I can't just go around tossing all sorts of accusations. As soon as somebody just says that something's going wrong, I don't think... Oh my gosh! It's covered in graffiti! The heck? Oh my goodness! And there's a bazillion horses lined up. What is going on here? Like, what am I gonna do? What do I do? Who do I talk to? How's everything in here? Oh my gosh, Lynn? Lynn, I, I need, what happened? How do we even, what do I do? Oh my goodness, you guys. Who do I talk to now? Up to the Baroness. So somebody has completely wrecked the riding arena. From forest fires to threats popping up all over Jorvik, we are keeping ourselves very busy today. But thankfully, once again, we have the perfect companion to help us with these quests. So next time we are going to be popping back up with whatever these bottles are to report to the Baroness and let her know that unfortunately, just as she was recovering from her horse butterfly being horse napped, it looks like the riding arena has been completely trashed. Oh, and also to reassure her not to worry about that forest fire. Never a threat to her vineyard. I'm sure that's going to be completely something that feel makes her feel calm. But all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our heroic actions with our wonderful Apple Guardian and young Prince Apple. And now we will carry on with this and literally thousands more adventures. If you guys would like to subscribe and join us, do please consider that. Uh, but mostly, and most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.